Welcome back. Later tonight, our team is taking a deeper look into the migrant crisis here in the United States, speci specifically, that is, in the Midwest. Yeah, George Malley and Erica Menez, they've been working on this story throughout yeah. the last few weeks. Erica actually joins us now. This is part of a, a three-day special report. It's called Crossing Borders, Migrants in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. And I want to start with this question. Why Chicago? I know people here in Michigan are asking that. Why Chicago? It's so close yeah. though, right? Yes, it's so close. And my boss actually took a trip down there and he called me into his office one day and he was like, did you know that there's like people living in tents all lined up across the police station? And I was like, no, I had no idea. I've actually never been to Chicago. Mm -hmm. So he was like, I would kind of like okay, for you like and George to go down good. there, see for yourself, see. talk to these people. What are they going through, you know, mm -hmm. on a day to day yes, basis? So that's how this idea came about. He saw the problem and he just wanted to us for to invest we didn't even know what the story actually was until we got there. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, we, we think we know what it is, but then when you're there, it's completely different and it's a different point of view. So and, and Erica, this was eye opening for you in many ways, especially because this was your first big project at WNDU. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is very special to me. Not only is it an important story, but it's also very big. Like these are people that need us to like be their voice. Mm. And we're not here to be biased. We cover both sides. So you'll definitely see that at six when it airs. Uh, you'll see, you know, it from the humanitarian side and you'll also see it from the crisis side because it is a humanitarian crisis that we're wow. having now. So wow. you'll definitely see that at six. This is an issue that's multifaceted. There's some stuff online as well, correct? Even right now as we speak, am I right about that? Yeah, so we have something on our website now if you want to go check it out. We have a behind the scenes look. We have stories there uh, with pictures attached. There's people that didn't make it to our video version, but we put them in our web version. There was just a lot of great stories and we wanted to fit all of them. And Erica, part one airs tonight. What can people expect? Because there will be several aspects aired throughout the week, right? Yes, so this is going to be a three-day series, so it's going to start today, Tuesday, and Wednesday will wrap up, and they are based on a look at the story first, and then our tomorrow is going to be the politics side, and then gotcha. we're, we're going to work our way until what's next. Gotcha. Mm. I, I want to show the video again, Greg, if you can, forgive me. I just wanted to show okay. people. I grew up five blocks from here. I did too. In Market I was Park. Close nearby, yeah. I mean, so this is weird to see, like, right next to the major mm. district precinct, right, the police station there, this is a major, this is 63rd Street. And so I, I guess when you got there, you talked about it, you didn't know what to expect. When you all got there, you and your team, mm. what did you see on the ground and what blew you away, I guess is my question here. What was the thing that shocked you the most at this scene? Honestly, we, I feel like a lot of people have an immigration story and I feel like I have my own immigration story. Okay. I feel like what I went through is not near what these people are going through. Mm -hmm. So it really impacted me and it made me realize why I'm doing this job. Like this is the reason that I'm doing this. This fulfills me, like being able to cover this and understand it. You know, I'm from Florida. You know, we usually are the ones that bus people to other states, mm. but I never, I've never seen that. I've never seen sure. people living in tents. I've never seen them lined up across the police station. I've never seen them like be out in the colds, little kids that are four yeah. or five, you know, playing on the street. That's that really blew my That's mind. That's what I was going to say, even just from your clip, to see a little boy playing a toy, playing with a toy right on the curb of a busy yeah. Chicago street and dirt on his face, dirt on their yeah. clothes. That's... Sometimes he would like get on the street and his dad would put him back on the sidewalk because you're just four years oh, old. You know, wow. all you want to do is play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that, I don't think that's anything it's part any of child should experience. Part of childhood, yeah. 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 Indeed. Uh, uh, Erica, we appreciate that. Again, part one airs tonight right here on 16 yeah. News Now, one of three that's going to air. You will see more of Erica and George Malley as well as they continue their coverage, Crossing Borders, Migrants in the Midwest. Thank you. We know you're busy. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Important announcement before I go, though. Yes, please, yes. Eh, vamos a tener esta historia en español en nuestra página WNDU. So la podrán ver en español también. A las seis. Oh. <laughs> and what did you say? Yeah, yeah. That we'll have this story in translated Spanish. in Spanish at six on our website. That's amazing. Yes. It's amazing to have a, here. Check our Spanish there's section out. Yes, yeah. there's a Spanish yeah. section, the only place in town doing that. Yes. Yeah. We it's get amazing. To brag we on. know you've been working hard, you and George, so Thank we appreciate you. the Thank time you guys. Thank you for the support on this. I don't know how to say we'll be right back. I want to learn how to. Regresaremos después del comercial. We'll be back.